Hi there, this is Dr. Tammy Stewart from PT2XL to talk to you about how to use a single point cane properly. So single point cane is the standard stick, one point at the end, not to be confused with a quad cane or a tri cane, single point cane. So first of all, you wanna size it properly. So I'm gonna back up so you can see on the floor. I'm gonna place it just right beside me. So it's even with my hip here. So it's not in front of me, it's not behind me, just to the side and you wanna drop your arm down and make sure that it hits you right at the wrist. So if I hold my hand down and it's here, that's perfect. If it's here, that's too short, so I'd need to raise it up. If it's here, that's way too tall, so I'd need to lower it. To lower it or raise it, depending on the cane, uh, it may be a little bit differently, but most canes are really similar to this. So there's a little cuff here and you need to loosen that so that you can easily move it up and down. So it can come all the way loose. And then there's this little button here. So you push the button in and then you can pull it to lengthen it, push it in to shorten it. Once you have it at your desired height, you just re-screw on the little cuff here. <clears throat> Double check it, make sure when it's at your side it hits you right in that part of the wrist. You can also double check by putting your hand on the side of your hip here, just on the side, and wiggling your foot back and forth, kind of like twisting, just like this. If you feel the knobby part of that bone right there, that should also be the height of the cane. Now, for some people who have shorter legs, longer arms, you might have to adjust that a smidge, but this is a great place to start. So, to grab a hold of it, you don't want to hold it back at the back of it. You don't want to hold it straight at the front of it. This type of cane has this nice little extra lip here and it's wider at the back with a little hump here. I really like this kind of a cane because it's really ergonomic. It fits the hand really comfortably. So you want to grab, you can have a finger pointed straight down if you want. You can curl it here if you want. That's sometimes uncomfortable for people's hands. So I see a lot of people really liking this finger down situation and the thumb curls around the other side. You can go forward if your hand's a bit bigger. My hand's about a medium for a female, so this is a nice comfortable hand posture for me on this cane. So to walk with it properly, when we walk normally, we swing our arms. Some people swing their arms a lot, some people swing their arms just a little bit, but I'm gonna just show you an exaggerated version of just normal walking. So I'm gonna swing my arm. Notice that my arm goes forward with the opposite leg and I get this nice trunk twisting here. So you want to keep that natural walking rhythm when you put a cane in your hand. So let's say this is my injured leg or weaker leg. I'd want the cane in the opposite hand so that when I take a step with my weaker leg, the cane goes with it. So now I've got two things taking this step and then I step through or two the cane depending on what's comfortable for me and my balance with the other foot. So what that looks like is injured leg or weaker leg with the cane, other one goes through, cane, other one goes through. So I still have that arm swing, that natural trunk twisting. What you'll see a lot of the time in like TV and movies is that they put the cane on the same side as the injured leg. So they use it at the same time as the injured leg but on the same side and then it looks like this. They basically give themselves a limp. That's not great for the rest of your body and it doesn't actually help support your hip very well in a natural body movement. What it does do is throw everything else off in your body. It'll contribute to shoulder pain, low back pain, etc. So we don't wanna do that. And single point canes are used for balance. They're not really meant to put a lot of weight through. So if you're putting a lot of weight through a single point cane, you need something different something a little bit more stable than a single point cane. Cause this will wiggle on you if you put too much weight. Like if I'm leaning on it, it'll wiggle really easily and that's not what it's for. It's meant just to help you with a little bit of balance. So feel free to question, comment, reach out to us directly. If you feel like you're trying to get the rhythm with a single point cane, but you, you need some professional help, we'd be happy to assist you. Uh, just give us a call here, shoot, uh, shoot us a, a text, an email, like, subscribe to this video on our YouTube channel, um, the link below to our website. We'd love to hear from you and we'd be happy to help if you feel like you need some one-on-one uh, some -on -one training. So 
give that a try and see how it goes.